In this video we'll show you how we can do helical milling on a series of holes. So I've started the CAD system from the desktop and I'm going to open uh, an existing DXF drawing. So this is the DXF drawing that we want to use. And now one thing to bear in mind about DXF files is that they don't contain any information about the units that it contains so we need to know that. So in this case the drawing is created in inches. So I'll now check that make sure that my working units are inches. OK, so I'm working in inches. That's good. So what we need to do now is create contours of the holes in question. Uh, so rather than having to create contours individually for each one of those holes, we'll use the quick method, which is to use the select button here. Click and drag around the area that we're interested in. And then from the top menu, we go machining, create NC, and we want to create NC contours. Contours are for milling, patterns are for drilling. And then when we see this question, we say yes. So the depth of the holes is 5 eighths, so we can just, sorry, 5 sixteenths, so we can just type in the uh, expression there. And because the uh, system has found circles it wants to know the start angle for machining so uh, the start angle in this case the default is zero degrees which is the three o'clock position so that creates contours uh, for all those hole positions now the order which they're created in is the order in which they were drawn in originally now we don't know what order that was but what we do have is a way of sorting the contours so if we go to the NC icon here and then from the vertical toolbar on the left we choose sort and we'll choose to sort tool paths and contours and we choose a starting position so we'll say upper right uh, so it tells me there are no tool paths but I do want to sort the contours and I say yes so 308 of those have been uh, sorted so that will speed up machining so uh, we can now take that through into the cam system so we can save this file away and now we go into the cam so to do that we go to machining milling module Uh, the first stage is the machine setup, so this is where we need to check on our tool change position. So this is where the machine will start from, the safety or the home position, and that's where it will finish. And the tool change position is where the machine will go to for a tool change. Uh, but for a lot of bottom controllers, you don't need to drive the machine to a particular XY location. It's just a question of invoking a tool changer, and it happens wherever the XY happens to be. So we click OK and accept all the defaults. So we now want to define a tool. So from the bottom toolbar we choose define a tool. And the tool we'll use will be 3 8 The length of the tool doesn't really matter. This is just for visual purposes. Uh, but I think uh, the tool size is wrong, so I'll change that to 3 sixteenths. That looks better. OK, so now we can do a tool change, select that tool, set the spindle speed and the feed rate. If we need to, we switch on the coolant. So now we're going to use the go round command. Uh, so we choose the contour that we want to start with, and it doesn't really matter which one we choose because it'll machine all of them. Uh, in a moment. Uh, to switch on the helical machining we go to approach and we can have an arc approach so it approaches the uh, start of the contour and we could have a runoff but in this case we'll switch that off but for the helical machining we need to switch on the ramping and we want to ramp down the whole contour so because the contour is a circle it'll start off at three o'clock and end up at the three o'clock position but it'll go down to the z value that we've given it so it'll either do it in a single pass if we uh, wanted to but more likely we want to do it as a set of different z levels so to do that we use the z axis tab here and we'll set the cut depth to 0.1 
Okay, so it's machined this contour here. If I just zoom in, you'll be able to see it. Okay, that's okay, but it's on the wrong side. So we simply need to change the offset to the right. And the other thing I'll do, which I forgot to do, is switch off the runoff. Okay, so if we look at that in the isometric view, zoom into that first contour. Okay, so we can see the helical movement happening there. So it will go round a number of times depending on the cut depth that we entered under the z-axis tab and then when it finishes we can pull the tool out. If we do want to add an approach and a runoff to each one of those uh, individual z movements then we can use that using the approach and runoff tab under the go round command. So that's machined a single contour. We want it to machine all of them. So under the go round tab, we go to options and check the box machine all contours with the same group number. When the contours were created, the default group number applied to them was zero. So now when we zoom out and run the job, then it machines all those contours starting off at the top right hand corner and sorting the tool paths into a decent order. Okay, so uh, that's uh, how we do that. The last thing would be to create the G code. So to do that, we use the post process command here and then call up from the list of available post processors your particular machine tool or controller combination. So that's how we do the helical milling.